The country mouse goes to heaven. A struggling sun lies hid behind a clouded sky. When will the day bring its pleasure? These are the days of our desire, now in apogee. If the sun cannot burst through, what chance have we? Why keep us waiting in dimness and cold? We imagine in this glade, bones strewn about, a village lived of old. And no Ezekiel to say, rise up, dry bones. The spring will never come, and we will never care to build again. What we now, what have we now heaped upon these years? These frosts are wearisome. Our sap will never stir for sun or rain. Even the wind sighs. The days swell to life, then dwindle, ever beginning, ever ending, hinting and dinning, lagging and fleeting. We shall not come this way again, and we are glad. We will exult and rejoice in your kindness, Lord, for you have seen our affliction and lived it. You have known the suffering of our soul. If so, we be not glad, even so the greater world has an immensity. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. The sea exults in its fullness. Therefore do we know we shall be full. It has not appeared to us that we are righteous, holy, properly on the way to you. Already have you done great things, and like the sun, our way to you is clouded with mystery. Were a country mouse to go to heaven, she would nibble her paws in a corner, afraid even to see the great city, for she was a country mouse. What languages were spoken, what songs, what colors, searching for something familiar, quiet, simple. Then appeared a man of earth, comfortable here, comfortable there. The mouse had not yet claimed the attributes which showed she was made for heaven. Already we carry the weight of glory and the transposition which effects our true humanity in heaven. And why on earth do these things matter? Our lives will never be explained to us until they come to fullness. Without knowing, we have been searching for the place where all is finally made right that joy was promised and just come. It is this destiny which transforms every aspect of our lives. Heaven is always with us. Every action we take moves us closer or away from heaven. The riches of its palaces are sprinkled upon the earth, and fettered between is the problem of pain. Even do we question the goodness of God, no one of earth discounts your presence. Each has a deep and unfulfilled longing. We cannot tell each other about it. Each soul has a signature. The incommunicable and unappeasable want. This we had already before our childhood, schooling, our marriage, or vocation. While we are, this is. If we lose this, we lose all. And wandering all about us are those who in their core have an inkling of more, far more than they acknowledge. The country mouse whispers to herself, I do not belong here, yet I am here. Yes, the meek did inherit all things, and the little creatures followed. Amen.